All right, hey, um, this video is going to talk about the G major scale, which, just like all the other major scales, it has the same structure, which is a whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. All right, you have two whole steps and then a half step, then you have three whole steps and then a half step to end it. It starts and ends on the same note, which is G. And, um,. Yeah, uh, half steps and whole steps can also be called tones or semitones. So a semitone is just like the tone that's the next key on the piano. Uh, this is mostly for piano, but if you understand the notes and what notes they are on your instrument, you can uh, you know play that note on your instrument, whatever it is, whether it's a E on a trumpet, you know, it's C D E F G B C, whatever. Uh, a B C. Um, you just have to know what notes. I I don't know the notes for like clarinet and bassoon or whatever, but um, I hope you just know those and you can uh, just know what notes they are. So in this in this key of G. Now this major the the scale and the key are the same thing. The key is G. So when someone says the song's in the key of G G major, um, you're knowing that the notes the notes the song. The notes that the song, the notes being played in the song are all the notes from the G major scale, which um, I'll show you right here in FL Studio. Okay, so I'm using this FL Studio to demonstrate the piano. Um, ignore that, but uh, you should be able to hear. Um... All right, so there's a G. I'm gonna play lower though, down here. Here's a G5, okay? I'm also gonna open up the if I can find it real quick, the, uh, this, I want that open, okay, so now you can see it on this keyboard here, and on this keyboard, it's hard to see these, uh, when I go up to a, a black key, but you can see that I'm pressing an A sharp, right, anyway, um, so, like I said, this G major scale is using the, the structure under it, and all major scales have the structure, so you have to understand. You have to understand that structure, which is you start on the note with this. This is a G, and then a whole step to an A, and then a whole step to a B, and then a half step to a C, and then a whole step to a D, and then a whole step to an E, and then a whole step to an F sharp. All right, you're gonna go to an F sharp because the whole step jumps over the F. From E to F is only a half step, so you're gonna go from E to F sharp, and then a half step down to the G, okay? So a little bit quicker, I'm gonna show you that one more time. Okay, so it's just using that structure. Whole step, whole step, half step, which on here is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and then whole step, half step. All right. Wait, no, that's wrong. That was in the wrong. I was playing. I was playing a D. That's wrong. Don't listen to that. It's like this. Like that. That's right, okay. Um, so on the keys again, it's just like this. You start on a G, and you go whole step to an A, then a whole step to a B, and then a half step to a C, and then a whole step to a D, whole step to an E, whole step to an F sharp, and then a half step to a G. Okay. kind of sloppy but you get the point right um and now you can use these notes to make uh, melodies off of so you can All right so i was just writing in the notes from g and that's how you make the melodies sound uh, pleasant when they're played together. 
and it's a really useful tip when you're trying to write music. So your song has to be in key, basically, when you're writing your own music. Um, so write, in, write with those notes. If you want the key to be G, use those notes, which, one more time, are uh, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then G. All right, so the notes are in the description. There's also the uh, structure, which has the whole steps and half steps there too. Uh, for more videos like this on tutorials for music theory, as well as production, I teach how to use this uh, FL Studio here, this software um, for music production. Because there's a lot of stuff with like electronic synths. You can use synths and you can make beats in here and everything. So this software is amazing for uh, new modern electronic music. I teach this as well, so they're all on my video, on my uh, website or in my YouTube channel. But my my website is uh, epsilon144.com. There's a link below in the description. If you have any questions, leave a comment, you know, and give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more videos like this, teaching videos. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.